Good morning, folks. The sun is slipping back down into a complete lull of activity. No flashes of solar flares. The earth-facing filaments have remained firm as well, and the coronal holes are now beginning to turn away from the earth-facing position. Let's zoom in and begin to take a look at some of those filaments. The rope departing on the north is in the process of destabilization, but it is not in a position to send a CME our way. At most, it'll be a nice looking sequence for tomorrow's news. The primary focus should be on the incoming plasma. The dark ropes here are entering an earth facing position tonight on both the northern solar hemisphere and the south. The earth scale here is positioned between twin filaments turning in now. We've got another one over at the limb as well. This is where we focus. As previously mentioned, flaring activity is low. Very low. The SDO is in flip maneuver this morning, so we're at the videos for sunspot analysis, but as you can see, we've got just about nada on the disk. The only big spots are departing. Activity should remain low. Three days of solar wind here, showing yesterday's jolt that ticked up the plasma speed and density, and also tweaked the BZ and phi angle of the stream. It was a sudden and somewhat unexpected jolt, lots of energy involved, but Earth's magnetic shield handled the challenge just fine. In case you didn't hear, we've got another eclipse afoot coming April 4th. This one is lunar, and since Europe got the last eclipse, we'll cut you guys out of this one, he said, like he controls these things. So if you are just about at any other longitude, you can see this lunar eclipse this weekend. Link to this map is below. Along with this one on galaxy formation from Herschel and Planck, they sputter through mainstream theorizing, but EU proponents may still be interested. Got a link on ionospheric electrostatics as well, yet another example of our electric sky vulnerable to space weather. That equatorial plasma bubble is much a bigger player in the weather than is given credit for. So let's look at the jet stream. Its northern position here is the reason it is getting so hot out west, and that is actually going to hit the east soon as well, finally. But where did it dip back down? It cuts back between the UK and Norway, down to Saudi Arabia, and it does not come back up north until around Mongolia. This shift in the cold waves has hit this area quite hard already. The snowstorms rolled in with the systems too, pounding western Russia. Moscow was included in this burst, trees down, buildings collapsed, too many people dead. Cold records are falling from Kazakhstan to Lebanon, we expect that to continue. Best of luck with New England's weather over there, guys. Meanwhile, we've got MASAC in the West Pacific. For those who caught last night's Deeper Look episode, it is indeed now a super typhoon. This is set to smack the northern Philippines head-on just north of Manila, and then apparently head right on up to Hong Kong. In the United States, this is what we've discussed for a couple days now. Severe alerts returning to the central U.S. and we will likely have tornado warnings tonight at the convergence line just south of the low. Europe has been getting battered by the convergence that crested over the land. Wind speeds topped 100 miles per hour and when the system was over Germany, an intensification event caused major havoc and killed three people. The convergence is still there now. The low to the east is still drawing in from the ocean and that's making it one powerful storm. Another cloud line ready to hit the coastline now. Last but not least, I the convergence from next to New Zealand back up across Australia. We also have a moisture flow heading right at Queensland, making for a secondary alert zone tonight. That's what you see here. I've also got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. The 2015 first quarter report will be coming up by dinner time in the east. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.